good. It is a highly popular social activity around Atlanta. I'm talking about smoking hookah. Well, there is a viral TikTok video out there, more than 3 million views showing this group of friends who say they ended up in the hospital with carbon monoxide poisoning after smoking hookah. It has people confused. How did that happen? So we took that question to a medical expert. You ask, we verify. Can smoking hookah lead to carbon monoxide poisoning? You know, absolutely. When we look at hookah, hookah is a combination of burning charcoal and also the shisha, which is a mix of herbs. And those herbs also can produce formaldehyde, tar, and carbon monoxide gases. Let's talk about how important it is to be in a well-ventilated area if you're going to partake in hookah. You know, ventilation is so important for a number of reasons, but certainly for a hookah, when, when you're burning this charcoal and burning this shisha, we know that just a 60 minute session of hookah is equal somewhere between eight and 15 cigarettes smoked during that same period of time. I mean, whoa, did you hear that stat? It stopped me in my track, seriously. In the video, the friends say they smoked hookah for up to five hours and eventually closed the windows in their apartment as the evening went on. And that's when they all got a headache. Eventually, the carbon monoxide detector went off, a reminder to get one and make sure the batteries are fresh. That is when the girls called 911. Firefighters came and suggested you got to go to the hospital, get an oxygen treatment after checking the CO2 levels in the home, which were at a dangerous level. So yes, we can verify smoking hookah can lead to carbon monoxide poisoning.